So, uh, I'd just like to welcome everybody to this uh, special President's Forum. I appreciate you coming out, and I hope you were able to enjoy the uh, digs that the Council put on for you. And I'd like to applaud our Council. They were here uh, bright and early and, and helped set up and, and do everything, and we'll be there uh, at the end cleaning up. So, uh, we appreciate their service. Um, we're here today talk about us, to talk about our favorite topic, if I can get this to, to talk about our favorite topic, which is Gloria Day, in search of Gloria Day. And I say in search of Gloria Day because Gloria Day has many different identities, and a lot of them are reflected here. We've got our identity of, of birth in 1965. We've got our identity in terms of school in 1973. We obviously have Sunrise House that was in the 90s. We've got our rebirth, if you will, or our new focus that we had a few years ago, building faith, building community, and building lives. And then we've got our larger communities, the Virginia Synod, which we are a member of, and obviously being a, a member of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. So when you think about Glory Day, it's not just about you sitting here in that church out there. There's a lot more than there's other dynamics. And so when we talk about ourselves, we've got to consider those dynamics. And that's what I hope to give you a better appreciation for today, and also to take a look at what you folks think Gloria Day is. Because that's what we did when we took the survey. We did what was called a self-study in preparation for calling a pastor. And so it's not so much what I think or Pastor Freeborn thinks or the council thinks what we collectively think of ourselves in terms of the congregation. So kind of relax, sit back, we're going to be reflective today. Uh, I challenge folks to, to raise things if they want to. This is a fully open forum. Uh, it, my time is yours, but obviously the longer you want to talk, the longer other people. But if, if you have to leave for whatever reason, please do that. And you'll be able to see the video hopefully when it's, it's uh, online. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Freeborn asking an open with prayer. Thank you, Joe. I really want to thank you all for being here. Uh, I want to express my appreciation to the council, to the committee that, that did this research study, that did this uh, groundwork in uh, collating and collecting all this information. And I also want to take the time to say thank you for the National Search Committee. Uh, I also want to thank the council for lunch. I have to admit, I was a little nervous when I walked in and saw this club so <laughs> Thank you. 
kind of go back to that theme throughout the presentation. Now, along the way, obviously, there's a lot of windmills. And sometimes we have to fight those windmills. And hopefully, together, we will be able to continue to move forward and to, to look at those windmills and push them aside and continue to make progress uh, as a community of faith. So this is uh, my mandatory overview slide. We're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. So, I mean, I'll give you the real skinny note. We are going to, we're going to talk about who we be, part one, okay? And then we're going to look at, uh, at cows, and we're going to talk about the plan, and then we're going to have a reprise and talk about who we be, part two. And then we'll really get into the survey. So I, there's a little bit of preparation work before we get into the survey. We'll get a little deeper into the survey, into some of the comments, which is why it's a say what? And then sum it up with, uh, so what? So, so where are we at? What are we to say about this? So let's take a look at who we be. All right. This is our vision. This was created by the, the council and, the church, and ratified, if you will, by the church. And this vision, I believe, is still enduring. It was substantiated during the surveys because the vision was asked again of you. Do you, do you understand the vision? Do you concur with the vision? Are you, or do you think it's still our vision? So it was substantiated by the survey. And basically, it said we're chosen, and uh, our gifts are to enrich the spiritual and physical well-being and to have open doors. So that's a very simple. <laughs> the vision of Gloria Day is, and then obviously the quote from John. That vision is substantiated and supported by a mission statement. And again, Pastor Stowe crafted this very much along the way, but the, the mission of the church, as Jesus stated, our mission is to go forth and make disciples of all nations. That's evangelism. So as you see here, we have evangelism. Now there is a very, for those who are not familiar, then there's a breakdown, if, if you will, that is part of our culture, part of our glory day persona. And there are three elements. There's kerygma, which is proclamation, koinonia, which is community, and diaconia, which is service. Those are three components. If you wanted to build a Venn, a, a Venn diagram, there would be three circles that would be over, overlapping, and all of them kind of uh, uh, through synchronization and through uh, support, self, uh, support each other. Um, at different points in our history, we have emphasized different portions of our mission. So when we began, we were very much on the right-hand side. Oh, I'm sorry. We were very much on the left-hand side with proclamation. Put down a, 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 a sign and say, we are building a church. Come. Let us proclaim the good news to you. And that's the phase we were in, and we were probably in that phase for, well, we're always in, the, we're always in all three of these phases. But again, at the beginning, we were emphasizing who we are, come as a community of faith, and probably for a good 10 years or so, that's, that's where we were as a church, proclaiming and trying to get people to come to Glory Day. Then we moved into Diaconia with the uh, uh, establishment of the school in 1973. Service to the community, <coughs> side door entry, again reinforcing the original intent, which is this proclamation and evangelism. So service was for that period of time. And service has continued because when you think about Sunrise House, that's a service that we, we provide to the community. And there are countless others. I'm not trying to, I, I don't want to be exhaustive on the list, but obviously we have so many different service uh, offerings that we have to the community uh, if they want. And then we have this center one, which is Koinonia. And so what is the name of our atrium? Koinonia Atrium. It has that name because that was the phase we were, this is the phase as a community of faith that we are in today. We are in, we are emphasizing, if you will, Koinonia the community. And therefore, we built the atrium and we have shared a much more uh, rich uh, life together through that, that Koinonia Atrium. So these are really, this is the mission. And the reason I wanted to show you these is because as we go through the presentation, some of your survey questions refer you back to this and ask you questions about it. So we have to kind of understand where we're coming from. We, we the council, didn't make this stuff up just for the survey. This is Gloria Day. This is who we are. And this is, uh, obviously, we can become whoever we want to be. 
but I'm kind of giving you the snapshot. This is where we're at, and this is who we are, and we're kind of focusing on the community piece for this 15-year uh, plan that we have. 